Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to try a, a fly that is requested by, by a nice gentleman from Ireland. So I'm going to try the, the Irish Duke. However, um, I'm going to try it on a trio hook just to uh, make sure you know the steps are visible. I would assume nothing bigger than two, maybe one O oh, and down um, for this pattern. But anyhow, that's how I'm going to do it. So uh, let's begin. So let's begin. Let's tie this fly, the Irish Duke. So. I got my trio hook there, I have my GSP thread uh, tying in the thread, securing it cutting the leftover of the thread moving backwards just gonna provide a little bit thread there So in the back half, it's going to be flat tinsel, flat silver tinsel. So I'm tying that one in. And this is just going to be a, a, a fishing fly. So. There we are. The flat silver tinsel in place. Going back with the thread. Just a few grabs of thread again. So here, orange floss. I'm not gonna use gloves today. Or maybe I do. Let's see if I have them at hand. Yeah, I did. Sip of coffee. Let me see. There we are. See if I can get better focus on it. Yeah, I think that's it. So Monster gloves. few wraps of silk Ow. there we are so we're tying backwards we're completely out of zoom I need to fix that, sorry. But I need to secure the silk first. There we are. 
Let me see how to fix that one. That looks better. I hope it stays that way. I need to keep an eye on it. Can be a nightmare sometimes to get the good good focus. Okay, so let's continue with the topping then. Maybe we have the focus better aligned now. So I thought, you see, there we are again. So, cutting the leftovers. Waxing the thread, just a little bit. Let's see where it's turning. Turns a little bit that way, okay. Thanks. And then a few strips of the, this one. As mentioned before, I do this is a fishing fly, so I will not make any super fancy version of it. There we have those. Just a little bit. I'm not happy with the tail at all. So, sometimes that's the situation. Then you just redo. Put something you like in place instead. I think this one I can save. We do over the whole part. So let me see if I can find a decent topping. The only problem is that I take them from my 
really long nice ones and I don't like that. So I need to prepare a few short toppings. But that's for a later moment. Let's give it another try. Oh, much better. Now I'm pleased. The other one was just ugly so another go with this one as well I'm gonna have a little bit more I think So let's see where we are. Might have taken a bit too much on one side, but I sort that out. Looks better as well. So cut the leftovers. Ostrich herb. I got that here. Waxing the thread first. that one in So tinsel time, since it's a fishing fly I will not use my antique tinsels. Looking good. I'm pleased with it. So tinsel, let me see. 
flat gold, flat silver. So then I start with flat silver. That's gonna be the ribbing. Or the rib. Now that's secured. So let me see the way I have and those. So I'm going back. I'm not going back. Let me see. So I take another thread. I need to build up the body. use a thicker thread to build up so while I'm doing that I'm cutting this one off so it's not in the way oh, and I notice it's tangled so let's sort that out first So now I have a thicker thread just to make sure I can even up the, the size of the body properly. So this is going to take a while so I'm going to do a few cuts to shorten the length of the video. in the hacker Fibers on the top downwards. First of all, wax. So let's tie in the hacker. Now 
I'm just securing it there. Winding forward. Just continuing building up the body. There we go. Up to here somewhere. So I'm trying to remove that small piece of thread. Might be tricky. one cutting that one off as well and adding this in Yeah, and the focus seems to work. Touch wood. The coffee getting cold, but that doesn't, doesn't matter. So, now for the next step of this fly. Go tinsel. Flat. Leftovers there. So winding backwards. Tight wraps. Focus. Tinsel bodies and focus in Pfft. doesn't really end up. So and there we are. Time to move out the hacking. See if I can get the last one there. Come on. Yep.
Ow! <laughs> Let's redo that one. I punctured the, the tinsel with the dubbing needle. So, let's do it again. Thanks. Your tinsel. Oh, once again, good practice. The tackle doesn't want to play with us. So, I just wrap it in. Starting to get there, and there we are. So tying the tinsel in, just securing it. Now it's time for the flat silver tinsel. And there 
we are. I think I make this video in two steps or two sections, two bird clips. I do love orange on the, on the salmon flies. It's a nice color. I'm gonna do. Let me see. I think that's sufficient. I was thinking about another turn, but nah, no need to. Yeah, I like it. I need to do a few sizes of this uh, pattern. Thanks Dave for requesting it. It might be a new favorite fishing fly. Who knows? So, since I'm tying on a trio hook here, it's going to be quite hard to get J feathers in that size. Of course, I have them, but uh, yeah, I don't want to waste them for this purpose. So you guys can tie on a smaller hook so you can fit your J's because it's amazing as a front tackle. Really pops the, the fly, so to say. But I'm going to use... Add. Let me see what I got. I always do Capper Kelly on my um, flies. So I have dyed them in blue, but I also have uh, this one, but I hate to use it. It's, I don't like that feather. Uh, so I'm going to look for a small Capricalier, this one, fantastic. So I'm going to use that one. I think I'm going to make this one video, otherwise it's going to be very short once. So, cut the leftovers. Without cutting the thread. But it's more fun to cut the thread. Yeah, coffee is very cold now. <laughs> so I'm gonna use use most of the this feather just to brush it backwards while I'm uh, wrapping it around the hook.
And you see how nice it folds. Uh, this Capricelli feather around there. You don't, you don't need to force it much. Well, the Guinea fold is just crap, in my opinion, sorry. There you go. So now it's time to build the wing. But I'm gonna have a short break. So, another day. Let's continue this uh, uh, fly. I just prepared a, a mid wing here. Peacock. So, I think I'm gonna tie it in somewhere there. There we are. Nice contrast. And I also prepared um, two wings, single fiber wings. So this is going to be really nice on top of that. But first, I need to wax the thread, add a little bit of varnish, and let it dry before I mount the wing on top of it. So uh, now it's time for the wing. So let me pair them first. So here we are. So let me see if we can tie this one in properly. a bit and there's the wing so that's gonna play around with it a bit There's the wing in place. So, I'm gonna back the thread, put some varnish on, and wait a bit, and then it's time for the sides. It's gonna be Galena, it's gonna be Bered Woodduck, it's gonna be Mallard. So, uh, let's take a short break. So, yet another day, 
I take this one in, in slow steps. Uh, so um, now it's time for the sides. So I have this Barret Wood Duck that I'm gonna start with. As you see here. So. Let me tie it in together with the, the Galena. I think it can be easier. Looks good. Always make sure to have your wing completely centered. So, the other side. I I don't want to marry it. That's interesting. So, I tie it in, in two steps then. So, I start with this one, the Galena part. The, the bird wood dark. There you are. Now I'm not happy with the tie-in, so I'm gonna <coughs> reverse it and do it again. Because on my side it was uh, going downwards. Let me see if I can manage to marry this one now.
Okay, now it's working. Now I'm more pleased with it, so that's okay. This side is still going down, but yeah, I'm just gonna fish with it. So, my lad. And then mallard on the other side as well. I'm just gonna pull it a little bit. There you are. So, what I'm gonna do now is to wax the thread and then uh, uh, put some varnish on and then it's uh, time to cut all the leftovers in the front and I'm gonna add uh, a topping and uh, also the horns, the blue macau. Now it's time for uh, the topping. I prepared one, uh, not the best one but uh, still this fly is uh, uh, going to fish the river Lögde on Sunday so it's going to be interesting and see how it uh, performs so let me just bend that a little bit I think I need to eat Shaky fingers. I want to finish this one first. There we are. Let me see. Yeah, I'm excited since I'm going fishing, so. <laughs> there you are. So, last step before I finish the head and varnish and uh, take a picture for the video. Uh, the horns. So waxing the thread, and one on each side, you see.
Hold in place, as you can see. Trying to add the second one. And there it is. So I just gonna finish the head here and varnish a few times with the uh, holes for fishing and uh, then shoot the picture and then start to produce the movie. So that's how you, um, you tie an Irish duke, at least how I did it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, uh, tie a few of your, for yourself. Uh, why not? You know, I, I think it's a really good fishing fly. Um, I'm gonna add a subscription bot button, so if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do so. I'm gonna add a huge amount of content, you know, fishing, camping, tying flies, uh, yeah, making beer, cider, wine, you know, everything. So, uh, yeah, please subscribe. And on the other side, I'm gonna add a uh, uh, a playlist to, to a few other of my uh, videos uh, that you hopefully will enjoy. So uh, I'm gonna pack my bag, uh, I'm going fishing on Sunday, I have six and a half hour drive up north and uh, hopefully I'm gonna catch something, you never know. So see you in the next video and stay safe out there, yeah, bye.